Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. So today we are doing some more jersey collection videos. Sorry it's been a little while. Um, work's been pretty heckin' busy. Uh, six days last week, six days this week, six days next week. Uh, so not a lot of time off to kind of film. I thought I filmed enough to kind of get me through last week, which I feel like I did. And then this week, yeah, just haven't been able to. Um, which is good, I'm not gonna complain. I absolutely like my job. Well, I love my job to be honest. And I'm pretty fortunate that way to actually be working again right now. So thumbs up for that. But I got some time. I'm going to try to do the Montreal Canadiens ones, which is the one you're going to be watching right now. And I'll probably do the Minnesota Wild one as well. I'm going to try to get a third video done as well. Uh, probably won't be a jersey collection video. Might not even be hockey related, but we'll see. Uh, pretty much going to get started right away. If you guys haven't seen the intro video to these jersey collection videos, I'd recommend going and checking that out. That'll be at the end of the video. Um, if you've seen it and all caught up, perfect. We'll kind of get right into this. Today's, can you guess the player up there? I feel like it might be a little bit of a hard one, although there's some pretty smart people out there. Uh, you got the Marcel Gotch one, and it's pretty surprised with that. So uh, let's get started with the first one here. Alright, so up first, this is the first Montreal Canadiens jersey that I actually got as well. This was a gift from my mom for Christmas. Um, this is obviously based off of the style from, two th sorry, not 2000, 1944 to 1947. This would have been technically their home jersey. Uh, I did get it blank. It has been customized actually relatively recently with Cristobal Huey. This jersey's been in my collection for at least 10 plus years. Again, one of the collection OGs. Uh, Absolutely love it. Probably one of my favorite Montreal Canadiens jerseys of all time. They brought this back in the 2003 season as kind of a vintage jersey here and there. It would come back again in 2006, 2007, as I believe. Technically a third jersey, which Montreal doesn't do very often. That is kind of when this um, particular player played in this jersey. And yeah, they would bring it back again, in, I believe in 2009, as part of their centennial season that carried into two different seasons actually which was really cool and yeah really really happy to have it so I kind of count this one as a 2007 jersey so it's kind of the first in the line of Montreal jerseys but moving on to the next one all right up next we have the blue C jersey as I like to call it again one of their centennial jerseys that they had during the 2009 season and this is based off of a jersey in 1909. So this jersey, even though it's based off of 1909, making it going ahead of the jersey that was based off of a jersey in the 40s. So technically this one should come first, but since this is the remake, that's why I have it after it, because that one that I just showed you, I count as a 2006, 2007. This would be the 2008, 2009. So that's why the 1909 one would come after a 1941. Um, try to keep that all straight. But yeah, it is blank. This is one of the Holy Grail jerseys that I've been after for a very long time. I think they only wore this one, the one game against Detroit. Actually, I think it was at their birthday on December 4th that they wore it. I could be wrong about that. Uh, the only thing I really remember about that is Andre Kostitsin and Carey Price's red pads. I hated those pads. Um, got this from a random eBay seller for a pretty good price. I seen this jersey for upwards of $1,200, which is ridiculous. I think I paid about 200 for this. It's in pretty good condition. Really, really happy with it. I absolutely love the shade of blue. Uh, if I could find the actual like sweater version of this, man, that would be unbelievable. This is one of my all-time favorite, favorite jerseys. Uh, though it is not my favorite Montreal Canadiens jersey, uh, but we'll kind of get to that when we do my top five. But moving on to the next one. All right, and before we get to this one here, the blue one, I it, like I said, it is blank. You guys obviously saw that. I'm going to be getting Andre Kostitsin on that jersey. Uh, going on to this one, is their 1915 style. I think it was like 1913 to 1915 that they had the CA as their logo. Love this jersey again. One of their centennial jerseys. Classic. I love this logo. The CA in my opinion, is superior to the CH. I know not everyone's going to feel that way. I don't know, it's a slightly different shade of red. It has laces on there, which they didn't have during the 2007 Reebok era up until, I think they got them in 2015, so 
their home and away jerseys when they had this jersey they didn't have the laces so it was a really cool to see the laces get added on one thing i really like is the on the elbow they have a ch as well i don't think it's on both sides yeah it's not um wait it is blank i will probably be getting andre markov put on here at some point down the road i got this just from a random ebay seller as well and it actually was the seller was here in calgary so it was pretty much delivered the next day somehow, which was fantastic. Uh, but yeah, love this jersey. I hope Montreal would consider bringing this back again at some point. All right, so up next we have the 2015 to 2017 home jersey. Pretty minor change that they made. Well, I don't. I don't want to. I don't think it's personally a minor change. A lot of people probably would see it as a minor change. But from 2007 to 2015, the collar was different. They had no laces. Uh, so in 2015, this came out with a really unique kind of sweaterish collar, um, just a very classic looking jersey, absolutely incredibly beautiful, one of the best hockey jerseys ever made. Uh, it is a, just a Reebok premiere. If I was able to have like a Made in Canada one or a team issued one, that'd be fantastic. As you can see on the back, that's Nathan Beaulieu, he's one of my favorite young defensemen when he played for Montreal. And I thought he was going to be on Montreal for a long time. Turns out I was wrong, but I'm still happy have a Beaulieu jersey and happy it's on this one. Um, I think I just got this actually at Sport Check here in Calgary and yeah really really happy fantastic beautiful looking jersey. All right up next is the road version of that from the 2015 to 2017. It's blank. I got this at Sport Check. Uh, I wasn't originally going to get it, but I got it for like a ridiculously cheap price, like 30 bucks or something, uh, 35 bucks. And the only reason I actually really wanted it was obviously I really liked the collar, but I want to get either Jean Beliveau or Maurice Richard on this jersey. I'm not quite sure who I'm going to do. Yes, technically it's a bit of a jersey foul, but I don't really care to be completely honest. Uh, I think it would look fantastic. I'm not going to get the name bar on there so there won't say Beliveau or Richard. It'll just be the number four or number nine and I'm gonna get it with the kit from the 2011 Heritage Classic. Uh, so it's a slight different um, twill package that they have for this jersey in the 2011 Heritage Classic one as opposed to what it would normally be if I were to get just you know say Brennan Gallagher or PK Subban or something like that. Really happy to have it, but moving on to the next one. Alright, so one of the coolest, um, most unbelievable looking jerseys out there, the Montreal Canadiens Winter Classic jersey from 2016. Man, this is so cool. That CH logo is fantastic. I would love to see them switch around their CH logo to kind of go back to something a little bit more traditional like that. Uh, yeah, absolutely unique shade of blue. I love that they have the globes on the arm. Kind of a throwback to very early on in their history. Um, it is blank. I thought I missed out on buying this jersey and luckily just through pure chance I found it at a store here in Calgary and I picked it up immediately. Um, so really happy with that. I was really debating for a long time who to get on there. I was going to maybe do Lars Eller. He was originally my first choice to go on here but I have him on my Capitals jersey. Then I thought maybe Markov, and then I got the 1915 style, so Markov's going to go on there. Then I thought, oh, maybe I'll do Galchenyuk. And then I decided I'm going to get him on a different one that you'll see in a bit. And then I was like, oh, maybe I'll get Fleischmann. And recently, like within the past three months, I've really started to like Brendan Gallagher. Um, so I think I'm going to put him on this jersey and. Yeah, Brandon Gallagher has a fantastic TikTok. I don't watch or really see any TikTok. I don't have the, even the app on my phone. I think it's a weird app. Not not for me. But I've seen a couple of his little TikToks, and they're pretty friggin' hilarious. So he's, he's won me over. So Gallagher, I think, will be going on this jersey. All right, up next, we have their home jersey from 2017 up until present, uh, current days. Again, Adidas. Uh, it is blank. I got this from Benny Sports. I'm going to be getting Thomas Tatar put on this jersey. And yeah, the collar is not ideal. It's kind of like Chicago's that they had. I don't think it's as bad as Chicago's. I don't think this is still the worst collar in the NHL. Uh, I, I get a lot of the Adidas ones 
aren't fantastic, this being one of them, but I do think there's worse ones out there. Uh, but take the collar away, it is still just a classic, beautiful jersey. Adidas jerseys for us are really nice, unless you're able to spend the money and get, you know, Maine Canada ones. These Adidas ones are going to last a lot longer than those Reebok Premiers, so really, really happy to have it. Uh, I think I got one more to show you, though. And All right, so last but not least, we have the Centennial, or not Centennial, it's the NHL 100 Classic jersey that they've had against the Ottawa Senators. Really nice looking jersey. I love the silver in there. I like the dates that they won the Stanley Cup in the arms. The use of gray or silver, really nice. It's not identical, but it's kind of, I feel like, almost pretty close to what they had, I believe, in 1938. I, I could be wrong about that, but I believe it was sometime in the 30s. It's kind of similar to that. They didn't have the striping on the arms like that. It was kind of more down towards the uh, cuff here, but pretty friggin' close. Uh, that is blank. I got this for 30 bucks at Pro Hockey Life, and this is the one I'm probably going to get Galchenyuk on. And yeah, it does have the smaller logo on there, which doesn't look terrible on this one. I think because it doesn't have any stripes, kind of how they normally do on their home or road jersey, or just home jersey. Um, I think it kind of works a little bit. Again, not ideal, but out of all the small logos, this one's definitely not too, too bad. Um, really, really happy to have it for 30 bucks. Couldn't go wrong. All right, and up next, we actually have another Montreal one to show you. Before we get into my top five ones that technically I don't actually have in my possession. Uh, technically speaking, I actually haven't paid for it yet. I have to wait until I get nice, my next paycheck to pay Brandon back for it. But this jersey is one that came from the Montreal team store from their sale. Uh, it's a Max Domi jersey. It is a size 46. I was really hoping I took the chance on getting the size 46. I thought for sure the Montreal Canadiens probably would have gone through their old stock uh, and not have any small logos on the jersey. It does have the small logo on there, so pretty darn disappointed with that. Um, but yeah, I actually don't have this jersey in my possession. It's at his place, deep in a fortress in somewhere in Saskatchewan. Uh, but when I get it, I'm going to show you guys here as well. Uh, maybe I might end up actually trying to sell it again at some point, just because that small logo on the home jersey I think looks pretty darn bad. But yeah, I didn't want to forget about that, and... Moving on now to my top five favorite Montreal jerseys. All right, so my top five favorite Montreal Canadiens jerseys in their franchise history. Uh, kind of a quick honorable mention to their uh, reverse retro and their, I think it was 1912 jersey that they had during their centennial season in 2009. The red and green, the Christmas one. I really like that. I want that jersey in the worst kind of way. Uh, honestly, that red and green Christmas jersey that's kind of what I was hoping for for the reverse retro. Uh, just a white version of that I thought would have been fantastic. And I hope one day that might become a, a thing. And uh, no, there's not going to be any Barbara Pole jersey in this countdown. Uh, it is a cool jersey for collector. It's a cool jersey to see and look at. It is a terrible jersey to look at on the ice and watch the game. I remember watching that game and it was... It, it was headache inducing like it was not a fun jersey to watch and I feel so bad for the guys who had to call that game um, yeah so there's no barber pole although I do really like the logo on that jersey and I would love to see that logo come back on a jersey at some point as well all right so number five I am taking their 2016 winter classic jersey looked fantastic and especially with uh, the Boston jersey to kind of go up against and, and match up with they complemented each other both so well, and that Montreal Winter Classic jersey is one of the best Winter Classic jerseys of all time. Number four, I am taking that CA jersey. I, I think I have my dates right in thinking that was from the 1915 season. It was really, really nice, and I really hope the Montreal Canadiens will consider bringing that back again in the future, uh, especially with that CA logo. I mean, and use that a little bit more often. I think that'd be really, really cool. All right, so number three, I am taking the 2015 to 2017 home jersey. Now, there's been a lot of iterations of that particular red jersey that they've had for forever, it seems like, uh, dating back to the 40s up until now. I mean, going through 
Reebok, Adidas, CCM, maybe Coho or Starter or Pro Player or whoever they were designing. Those jerseys haven't changed much. But that 2015 to 2017, that small little window, I thought those ones were the best out of all of those red jerseys. And that incarnation was fantastic. Just a classic, iconic jersey, and I, I love it. All right, so number two, I am taking that 1944 to 1947 white jersey. Whenever I see that jersey, I just think of Maurice Richard and watching the movie The Rocket, which, by the way, is probably the best hockey movie out there. Uh, it is incredible. Like, the way it's shot, um, the colors, the the attention to detail, the realism of it, I think it is by far the coolest, best hockey movie out there. I love the Mighty Ducks, don't get me wrong, but yeah, that one is just so, so good. And whenever I see this jersey, that's exactly what my mind goes to, is watching that movie uh, and thinking about Maurice Richard and, and Elmer Lack and a lot of the old players that they would have had back in the day. Um, really, really happy that Montreal brought that back a few times throughout their recent-ish history, and I really hope that they will consider making that, again, their full-time road jersey, because I think that would just complement their home jersey so well. Uh, I, I do like their their current setup that they have for their road jersey, but it doesn't even compare to what they had during that time period in the 40s, and bringing it back in those 2000 era. Looked fantastic. Very happy to have it, and nothing bad to say about it. Number one. Uh, I'm going to take the Blue Sea jersey, the 1909 style that they had, obviously brought back in 2009. Love it. Absolutely love it. The only thing that I kind of hesitated towards picking this as number one is when you see that, your mind doesn't automatically go to the Montreal Canadiens. It's a blue and white jersey. Uh, obviously, this was long before the Toronto Maple Leafs. I mean, probably by, what, almost 10, 15 years, something like that. Uh, so... This is, at the time, was their identity. There was no blue and white team in Toronto to kind of compete with. Uh, but, yeah, it, it's not... You don't necessarily think of blue and white and think Montreal. So I kind of hesitated towards that, but it is just such a beautiful-looking jersey, and I, I would love to get a couple more of them, to be honest. I think there's some still kicking around on eBay. I think, actually, there's like a Fanatics version as well. I would love to find that actual like sweater version, the Reebok by Roger Edwards edition or whatever. That would be fantastic. Absolutely just incredible to find. But yeah, that is my favorite hockey, one of my favorite hockey jerseys of all time, and it is my favorite Montreal jersey of all time. But that does it for this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Really, really appreciate it. Let me know what your guys' favorite Montreal jerseys are as well. Let me know what you think of the collection. You guess the player up front, and yeah, after this, I'm going to be going right into filming Minnesota Wild. One. That one should be a pretty quick one. I think I only have like four jerseys, so that one should be pretty good. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. If you guys want, you can check me out on Instagram and Twitter as well. Those will be down there as always. And yeah, that's it. Take care. Bye.